airframe, ice and rain, oral questions. What controls the temperature in a thermal anti-icing system? Hot and cold air being mixed. What are the sources of heat for thermal anti-icing systems? Bleed air from the compressor section of a turbine engine, exhaust heat exchangers, and combustion heaters. What prevents overheating of the leading edges of a thermal anti-ice system after it has heated the surface? Overheat sensors signal the anti-icing valves to close and shut off the hot air. What happens to the hot air used by a thermal anti-ice system after it has heated the surface? The air is dumped overboard. Why is it necessary to provide overheat protection for anti-icing systems that use turbine engine bleed air? The air is hot enough to cause damage to the aircraft structure. What are the effects of arcing on an electrically heated windshield? Localized overheating and damage to the windshield. Can the operation of an electrically heated pitot tube be checked with an aircraft's ammeter? And if so, how? Yes, turn the pitot heater on and observe the deflection of the ammeter needle. Describe several potential problems associated with electrically heated windshields. Arcing, delamination, scratches, and discoloration. Why do some pneumatic de-icer boot systems have an electrically operated timer? To automatically cycle the boots, provide the proper rest time, and then recycle the boots. What are the two common methods of inflating pneumatic de-icer boots? Bleed air from a turbine engine or the exhaust from an engine-driven vacuum pump. What procedure is used to hold de-icer boots flat with the airfoil surface during flight? Suction is applied to the boots. Why do some de-icer boot systems incorporate an oil separator? If a wet pump system is used, the oil must be removed before it reaches the boots because the oil damages the rubber. What methods are used to attach de-icer boots to the leading edges of the wing and tail surfaces? Adhesives, fairing strips and screws, or a combination of both? What important step should be taken prior to making a cold patch repair to a de-icer boot? Consult the manufacturer's service manual and follow the repair instructions explicitly. Describe the methods commonly used to remove rain from a windshield.
windshield wipers, air blast, or chemical rain repellent. What power sources are used to operate windshield wipers? Hydraulic pressure or electricity? Name two problems associated with in-flight operation of aircraft windshield wipers. Insufficient blade pressure caused by aerodynamic forces and failure to oscillate fast enough. Describe the operation of a pneumatic rain removal system. A high velocity of air blast prevents the rain from reaching the surface of the windshield. What are the effects of spraying rain repellent on a dry windshield? It smears and streaks, which usually reduces visibility, and it is hard to remove when it is dry. Where would you find information on the acceptable limits of windshield delamination? In reference material provided by the manufacturer.